going to teach you about chess. Dear children, in your prior grammar classes, you have learnt some topics, isn't it? In that, I am going to revise few topics. Are you all ready to listen? Dear children, do you all remember what a pronoun is? Yes, very good children. Pronoun is a word used in the place of a and noun. And you have learnt seven subject pronouns, isn't it? What are they? I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Very good. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. And next, you have learnt am, is, are. What are these words? These words are helping verbs. Yes. Am can be used with pronoun I. Yes. Can be used with the pronouns he, she, yet. And helping verb are can be used with you, we, they. Yes, children. Next. Yeah. Can you say me what is a verb? Verb is an action word, isn't it? Yes. Jump, run, sit, walk are the examples of action words. I am told to add this to the verb for the pronouns he, she, it. He Jumps. We have to add S to the verb. J-U-M-P-S. She runs. R-U-N? Yes. R-U-N? S. We have to add S to the verb. Run. And it walks. It walks. W-A-L-K? Yes. We have to add S to the verb. Walk. Yes, children. When we are using the pronouns he, she, it, we have to add yes to the verb. In today's class, I am going to teach when to add ing to the verb with few examples. A ram is eating an ice cream. Why have we added ing to eat? Why have we added ing to eat? Ra is eating ice cream. This action is happening right now. We have to add ing to the verb when the action is continuous. He is running. This action remains continuous. So, we have added ing to the verb to show it is a continuous action.
to the avoided ing. Person is continuing. I am eating. Okay, children. Next. We. We are walking. We are walking. We. It's a plural pronoun. Isn't it? For that, we have to add plural helping verb are. We are walking. Walk is a verb to that I have added ing. Why? Because it is a continuous action. Next. You. You are running. You are running. You can be used for a singular or plural. Isn't it? So you are walking. What are as a plural helping verb? You are running. I added n i n g to the verb ran. Yes. And next, they, they, they are jump. They are jumping. They plural pronoun. For that I have added are plural helping verb and I have added ing to the verb jump. J u m p jump. I have added ing. They are jumping. He is. He is laughing. He is laughing. He singular pronoun is singular helping verb. He is laughing. Laugh is a verb. I have added ing to the verb. She is crying. She is crying. She is a singular pronoun. Is Helping verb. Singular helping verb. Crying. Cry. As a verb, I have added ing. Since it is a continuous action. She is crying. The action is happening now. It's a continuous action. Next. It is barking. It is as a singular pronoun. Helping verb is. Singular helping verb is. Bark is a verb. I have added ing to that since it is a continuous action. It is barking. Let me teach with more examples. Dear children, what is the action am I doing? Rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. I am rowing the boat. Dear children, what is the action am I doing? I am playing chess. Now what am I Singular pronoun and as a singular 
helping verb flying. F L Y I N G flying is a verb. Yes. So we can use all these three action words along with other pronouns. Okay, children. Shall we? Yes. We are rowing. They are rowing. He is rowing. She is rowing. It is rowing. Next. What is the next action word here? Playing. We are playing. We are playing. They are playing. He is playing. She is playing. It is playing. Next. I am flying. We are flying. We are flying. They are flying. You are flying. He is flying. She is flying. It is flying. Yes, children. We can add ing to the verb to show that is a continuous action. Concept. And let us complete the book exercise. Take out your grammar book. Take page number 36. In that, match each picture with the word that names the action. The first picture. Running. So match R-U-N-N-I-N-G. The first picture with the word running. With the word running. Next. Swimming. S-W-I-M. Two knights, two 
was that? Two rooks, one queen and one king. The goal of the game is for each player to try and checkmate the king of the opponents. Checkmate is a threat to the opposing king which no move can stop. It ends the game. My dear children, you are going to learn five lines about chess. Okay, children? Yes. Chess is an indoor game. Chess is an indoor game. We play chess in indoors. Okay, children? Yes. Chess. C-H-E-S-S. Chess. Is I S S and A N N Indo I F D O O R Indo Game G A M E Game Chess is an Indo Game. So you have to memorize the spelling Indo I N N Do D O O R Do Indo. Okay, children. Yes. Next. Chess is a board game for two players. Chess, C-H-E-S-S, -E -S. chess is I-S-S, -S, a board game, B-O-A-R-D, board game, G-A-N-E, game, for, F-O-R, -O, for two, T-W-O, two players, P-N-A-Y-E, or S, players. Yes, children, you have to memorize the spelling board game. Okay, children, yes. There are 64 squares on the board. Yes, children. Next. Chess is one of the oldest games in India. Chess. C-H-E-S-S. -S, chess. I-S-S. O-N-E-1. O-F-O. T-H-E. The oldest. O L D E S T oldest games G A M E S games in India I N E India I N D I A India chess is one of the oldest games in India yes children let me read the composition again chess is an indoor game. Chess is an indoor game. Chess is a board game for two players. Chess is a board game for two players. Chess was invented in 6th century. Chess was invented in 6th century. There are 64 squares on the board. There are 64 squares on the board. Chess is one of the oldest games. Yeah. Yes, children. Let me recapitulate whatever I have taught today. Dear children, I have revised whatever you have learned in your prayer grammar classes. Pronoun. What is a pronoun? Pronoun is a word used in the place of a noun. And the next, am is a. All these three words are present helping verbs. Am is or present helping verbs. And what is a verb? Verb is an action verb. And I have taught you when you are using the third person singular that is he, she, it. We have to add yes to the verb. And in today's class, I have taught you adding ing to the verb. That is present continuous tense. And we have completed the book exercises. I have taught you composition. In that, I have taught you five lines about chess. Isn't it? What do you think? What do you think about this? What do you in the grammar class, you can learn the pronoun. 
அடுத்து ஆமசா நா என்ன நெக்ஸ்ட் என்ன சொல்லி கொடுத்த மிஸ் உங்களுக்கு verb verb னா ஒரு வேலைய செய்யிறது verb ல நம்ம ஈ ஷி இட் யூஸ் பண்ணும்போது verb கூட என்ன சேக்கணும் சொல்லி கொடுத்த மிஸ் எஸ் சேக்கணும் சொல்லி கொடுத்த அம்மா வரையா எஸ் அடுத்து இன்னைக்கு கிளாஸ்ல verb ஓட ing எப்படி சேக்கணும் ஒரு வேலை நடந்துகிட்டே இருந்தா அத நம்ம எப்படி சொல்லணும் பிரசன் கண்டினியஸ் ஐ ஆம் ஈட்டிங் நான் சாப்பிட்டு கொண்டே இருக்கிறேன் அப்படின்றது எப்படி சொல்லணும் அப்படின்றத நான் மிஸ் சொல்லி கொடுத்தேன் அப்ப நம்ம என்ன பண்ணா புக் எக்ஸசைஸ் கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணு கரெக்ட்டா சோ எல்லாரும் ஹாப்பியா மிஸ் சொல்றத கான்சென்ட்ரேட் பண்ணி கவனிச்சீங்க எனக்கு ரொம்ப ஹாப்பியா இருக்கு थैंक यू चिल्ड्रन बाय चिल्ड्रन मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास बाय बाय